good evening my dear students <coughs> uh, there are two important papers for the fourth semester pg course in english they are very important papers not just because they deal with the great dogmas theories isms they are very important because they help us to understand our contemporary society and also they enable us to see the human attitude human nature of the present period two important periods i said the first one post colonial studies part uh, second deals with totally 15 important key terms that which you have completed we have completed already covered already and there are some similarities between this paper post colonial uh, studies part 2 and literary and cultural studies part 2 there are certain similarities i said because both the papers introduce us to some key terms the key terms which are the pillars of modern studies modern studies in english literature there are certain similarities in the sense some of the topics topics like ethnography are there in both the papers we are studying ethnography in literary and cultural studies also we are covering the same topic in post colonial studies part 2 now today onwards we start discussing 10 important key terms of paper 4th of 4th semester pg course in english titled literary and cultural studies a very important notable thing is this that earlier the study of literature used to involve history literature culture language even some portion of science but now we have specified some specific areas for example this is not just literary studies but this is literary and cultural studies long back i told you that nowadays the present departments of english are not departments of english department of english but rather it is department of cultural studies department of literatures in english all that is published in english is part and parcel of the syllabus similarly all the cultural studies going on at present and covered earlier are also the part of 
English literature, English studies, studies in English. So, consequently, we have uh, 10 important key terms in this paper, literary and cultural studies, which help us to understand literature in proper perspective. Now, literature is no more an independent sequence happening or a branch of knowledge, but rather this study of literature is, is observed as a result of some socio political developments and happenings of the period. So which are those 10 important key terms which the English literary studies considers as very important for the completion of the course? They are like this. First one, civil society. The second term, cultural, culture industry. Third one, ethnography. Fourth one, institution. Fifth one, life world. Sixth one, meritocracy. Seventh one, power. Eighth one, popular music. Ninth one, television. And uh, tenth one, and the last is subjectivity. These are some vital terms on which the total study of literary and cultural studies is dependent. Okay, so today we will start with uh, the first key term, a terminology that is civil society. When we were the students, uh, this specific area was considered as one of the key terms of a social history, sociology. We used to discuss Samaja, Kutumba, Samste, Dastu, all these are institution trust all these were the areas of discussion pertaining to sociality but now very interesting thing is that we are studying these terms as equally important studies in the field of literature so Technically talking, or from the point of view of uh, sociology, the meaning of civil society reads like this. Civil society refers to the space for collective action around shared interests purposes and values, generally distinct from government and commercial profit actors. This was, this is the definition of civil society. While studying the nature of uh, 
human human behavior while studying human behavior psychological consequences many a time this question was asked that civil civilization civil act civic sense civilization many words are there most of the time this question was asked by different authorities to an each individual but do you have civic sense then are you the citizen are you the civils all these questions when these type of the questions are asked they are not just the things referring to sociology they are not just the part of areas of discussion of sociology but they are very serious questions related to the ethic ethics and responsibility the culture and education of an individual indirectly this is this these terms are as, asking the question that in which environment educational environment family atmosphere you are brought up and how seriously you shared your responsibility with the country so civil society every civil society is not just the group of the mass but rather every civil society equally shares its social responsibility and this social responsibility performance of social responsibility from or by a group of people will be studied as civil society so we will discuss the next key term in the next class